Thanks for joining us. And today we're going to talk about heart rate variability, resonance breathing. So heart rate variability is not a new idea. We've known about it since the 1840s. And it was discovered in 1847 by Dr. Carl Ludwig, who called it respiratory sinus arrhythmia. What that basically means is that when you breathe in, your heart rate goes up. And when you breathe out, your heart rate goes down. In the 1970s and 1980s, Dr. Richard Jervitz pioneered work with children who were suffering from a variety of developmental disorders. He used slow breathing training. And the children who learned this slow breathing training were much calmer, more socially inclined, they followed direction better, and they were generally happier than those who did not participate in this training. He concluded that the slow breathing training brings the parasympathetic and sympathetic nervous systems into balance. Recently, Forrest Knudsen, who has revolutionized Kriya Yoga, has developed heart rate variability resonance breathing. Heart rate variability resonance breathing is a foundation, a cornerstone of meditation practice. Heart rate variability resonance breathing is part of the genius of yoga, affecting the mind by calming the body. The essential conditions for heart rate variability resonance are the following. You need to breathe at seven breaths per minute or less so that's an inhale at the very minimum of four seconds and an exhale for five seconds. You need to take out the pauses between the breaths, so no pause at the top and no pause at the bottom of the breath. You need to sit very still. And finally, you need to make the out breath slightly longer than the in breath. By practicing heart rate variability resonance breathing in this way, it will lead you to experience the signs of the freeze response. So your hands being hot and heavy, a pulsation in your lower lip, tingling up and down your spine, or tingling throughout your entire body. This freeze response is a form of biofeedback, which lets you know you're heading in the right direction. In the next video, we'll get into a guided meditation of how to practice heart rate variability resonance breathing.